Okay. So I had Facebook yesterday that I actually ended up taking a loss on. Facebook, long, short? Long, and I entered, I entered at the break of 331.81. Do you want to share about, your screen? Huh? Do you want to share your screen? How do I do that? Um, it'll be on Discord, They're right like uh, above your name in the bottom left, it should say video and screen. And then, how do I get to my old positions, too? Um, are you in TD or on Trading View? I'm in TD. Okay. Um, then how about... I, I'm on Trading View for my charts. So okay, I'm yeah. Then just share your Trading View screen, and then we can go back and look at the setup. It doesn't give me the option to share. There we go. I had to click on a tab. Can you see it? Um, one second. Yes. I can see okay. it. This is the five minute, so. Wow. <laughs> okay. So I entered on, on the break of this. Or I guess not the break, because it would have been the retest. I entered when we came back up and re-got over top of this. Okay. And then I only entered one contract, but the reason, another reason I entered it was because this moving average right here, we were, like, bouncing off of. Right. I think on the 30 minute, it hits it exactly. Maybe not. Well, you have to remember, when you're changing time frames, you're changing the, the time frame of the, the moving average that you're looking at. Yeah, so, you're right. So it could be, you know, bouncing off that hour moving average, but it's just displayed differently in the 30 minute. Right. So so when I entered this, I, I guess I just don't understand what I did wrong. Well, you entered long, right? Right. It, it, it literally worked out well. Well, it it should have worked out well, but I didn't manage my position properly and it didn't work out well. Okay. So how about you walk me through what happened? You entered yeah, then what? So, I entered, where do I see the time? On TD? No, on trading view. Um, you see it on the bottom. So your, where your mouse is, it says the bottom right oh, beneath okay. it. Yeah. I'm trying to see where I will. And also make sure the trading view is in the correct time zone, which is on the bottom right hand side next to the word rig. A little bit more left, a little bit more left, a little bit more left, a little bit more. Oh, left. Yeah. One more, one more left, one more left. Don't click that. That one. This? Yeah. Just make sure that's ticked in the right time zone. Oh, America. Would it say United States? Yeah, I would go to the top. I think it's on the top. So are you in New York time zone? Where do you live again? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm this in is New York. UTC minus five. Oh, yeah, right there. You got there it. There we go. Yeah, so now it'll display in the proper time zone. There we go. That makes more sense. Okay. Yeah, I entered right here at about eleven. Okay. I I wrote it. I wrote it to up here, okay. but I expected a continuation after we came back down here. So like, I sold. I had three contracts. I sold um, one right here, and one right here, and then I let the other one run, expecting a continuation. And obviously, it came back down below my entry point. Okay. And it's it's back up now, but it, it was below my entry point yesterday, so I was down on it. But you should have been overall positive on the position, right? I, I was overall positive on the position, but the, I, I lost big on spy yesterday is where I where I got hurt. Okay. I lost 20% 20, 20 on 30 contracts of spy. Okay. So we'll, we'll, we'll go over spy next. But um, let's go. Let's continue with this trade for right now. So you, you closed majority of your positions out. Your, your profit taking was done correctly. Um then the, the thing that would have gotten me out of the trade before we wick down back to the low is the fact that we made a, a lower high. Do you see that? Yeah, I do see that. So right here. Uh, well, it would be the high. So yes, technically it was confirmed then. Um, and then when that lower high was confirmed, we also got a bearish engulfing candlestick. 
which you see you're highlighting right now, because it in completely engulfed that last bullish candle that we had to the left of it. Right. Okay. So that, to me, is an indication that trend may change direction, and I would have cut the rest of my position there. Okay. Um, so, yeah. so my confluences here were not incorrect as to taking this trade, because we broke out. We were in this support zone. I'm expecting us to stay in this support zone, essentially, to go back out. Yeah, I mean, I would debate that this trade is still valid, too. Yeah, I, I think that your confluences were done correctly. Okay. Of course, um, well, that makes that makes me feel better. <laughs> yeah, it, it was a good, like listen. You're gonna have trades that look absolutely crystal perfect, and sometimes they still lose, right? So, it, it, what you did was correct. Um, and just remember, the more confluences, the better. But you do have proper confluences for this trade. Um, yeah, I don't think you did anything wrong. Okay. So then, what what other confluences could I essentially use to? Um, but to show the trend is reversing. Obviously, I could do a fib extension, but in this instance, is that even going to hit the one six one eight to show the reversal zone? You know what I mean? Like, I mean, without seeing where you would draw the fibs, I don't really know what you mean. Um, because if you drew the fibs for this trade, they would still like the trade's still active. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Okay. Because remember, we're drawing fibs from the last impulse wave. So the last impulse wave was from the start on the 11th into the 12th. Do you see what I'm saying? Started on the 11th. Well, now that you zoom out, it looks like it started on the, maybe the 10th or the 9th. Why well, won't it let me keep zooming out? It's my problem. So go over to the right-hand scale where it says the prices, like 332, 330, and then drag it down. Yeah, there you go. Jeez. Um, yeah, so this looks like an ABC, and this could have been the corrective zone. Yeah, to me, it looks like the ABC completed on the 10th, and then we started wave one. So then you were trading from wave two, trying to catch wave three. Yeah. Yeah, so that wave count and that fib retracement, like because we would be taking it from wave one, we probably hit the 38.2, and then we bounced. That's where that big wick was that you got in afterwards. Mm-hmm. So I think that um, the fibs in this trade also look good. But, yeah, I mean, I, I think that you did this trade correctly. It was just the fact that um, you held it a little bit too long. But that wasn't really a bad thing either because you had a, only one runner left. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I profited on that trade. So I, I wasn't super upset about it, but I still wanted to reflect on it. And last night I was super confused as to, like, how I was able to leave my last one and not, not take profits on any of it. Yeah. I ended up losing, like... 6% on that one contract because I ended up cutting it, which at this point I realized I probably shouldn't have cut it because everything is still the same. Absolutely. Yeah, I would say that that is also something you could work on, right? There was no reason to actually cut that position because the trade's still valid. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. No, spy. Yeah, let's do spy. Spy is what killed me yesterday. And I don't remember where I entered. Was it long, short? It was long, yeah. It was it was the same, ex almost the same exact trade that you took. I, I literally, almost the same exact trade that you took. That you lost 20% on. I, I don't know how big your position was. I had a pretty hefty position going into that one. Yeah, let me try to um, think. Um, can you see my screen? I can see your screen. I'm just looking at my chart right now to see. I think I got in and then I got wicked out, right? Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this was um on that gap fill. That that wick that we gap filled on. Yep. Um I got in there on a lower time frame trade. And then yeah, price kept on moving lower and then came right back up. Yeah, I remember where it was now. Yeah. Uh price was 469.45. It was um so you're on the one hour chart. You drop down to like a, a five minute or a one minute chart. It was it was just yesterday. It was very uh low lower time frame. Zoom a little bit farther back. Look for that big wick. Yeah. Okay. So it's right around there actually. So if you go to the right, yep. Uh, between eleven and eleven thirty. Yep. Yeah. So. Okay. So walk me through 
your confluences for the trade? Or were, were you just taking the trade I was in? So, genuinely, I was just taking the trade you were in. Yeah. Um, and there's no necessary problem with that. But I will tell you, we can go over... We can review my trade because I fucked this one up. This one was my yeah, bad. Yeah, I mean, it'll still help me, definitely. Yeah. So, um, is it easier for me to share my screen then? Yeah, probably. Okay. Okay, so can you see my screen now? Yeah. Cool. So, hold on, give me one second. Okay, can you still see my screen? Awesome. Okay, so we got in here. I'm on my chart. Because we saw this five wave impulse move lower. Mm -hmm. And then what happened was we got in, it was like right here. Yeah, I got in right here. And my stop loss was below this last low. Because I did not think that price would just come down, wick us out, and then move higher. But that's exactly what happened. So in reality, the, the reason that I fucked this trade up is because I was looking at it on a one-minute chart and overanalyzing it. But when you look at it on a five-minute chart, this trade was not invalidated whatsoever. Because we closed still in the support zone. So... The, yeah, that, that was that was just my mistake. I completely like I and me and Austin did the same thing, right? Everybody that, that was in Spy at the time did the same thing. We overanalyzed it. We were like, all right, we were we were wrong about the direction. Spy is going to continue trending down for the day, and nope. If you waited four more minutes, price came right back up. Um, yeah. yeah, and that, that's just right away. <laughs> yeah, and that, that's just what happens sometimes, right? But right. now we know um, we got to just be careful because that was just straight up overanalyzing the position. Um, and the, tra the trade ended up working out really well. I know somebody held it and ended up making like 70% on it. Um, yeah. But it was still a good trading idea. Um, that one was just down to human error. My, my error. Okay, so can you kind of like walk me through what confluences you had to take that trade at that position? Yeah, yeah. So that we moment? had this support zone from the 6th of January. I believe it was on a 15-minute mm -hmm. chart. Yeah, right here. We had this uh, resistance turn support fractal. That's one. The gap fill was another one because usually we see reversals after a gap fill. That's exactly what happened. Um, and then the five wave move completed was another one. So that's three. And then let me see. I believe it was a fib level for number four. Yeah. So the, the fourth one was the 127.2 fib level because we bounced off of this and I consider this a valid res respect of this level. And then I got in on this next candle that came up. So we have four confluences on the trade. But the funny thing is is that if you got in on this inverse head and shoulders right afterwards, this trade still worked out really well. Yeah. So, yeah. Human error. We all we all fuck up sometimes. Yeah. That's why I texted you yesterday. Everybody, everybody does it sometimes. The goal is to just minimize it. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, believe me, that makes me feel better. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, but does that make sense as to why we got in the trade? Yeah, no, no, that, that makes complete sense. Cool. Um, are you in SPY right now with us? Um, no, I am not actually. Yeah, we got in here yesterday. So we'll have to yeah, see. Yeah, I, I was, I was going to enter that position, but, um, I was on the road and I was like, you know what? <laughs> I, I'm just going to drive. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, after yesterday as well, with all that choppiness, I, I don't blame you, bro. Do not blame me at all. Yeah, and I was I was a little frustrated with Spy already from yesterday. I was too. I almost didn't get in, but then it was just yelling at me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get in, so. And that's fine. You know, I mean, either way. Uh, but we're going to go into today with a fresh mind and, you know. But I hope those, those two reviews help. No, no, no. Actually, a huge, huge help. It, it, it makes sense. Was there anything else that you Obviously, I see that I shouldn't have cut my Facebook position. Um, it's it's still valid right now. It's it's still following that uh, support line. Yeah, I mean, so, I might even take that position the day. I'm going to look to re-enter, I do believe. There is resistance that you just have to be aware of at 335.65.
I actually have that as a support zone. Or well, resistance. it would be resistance because it's above us, but yeah. Yeah, no. Nah. I, I, that was my mistake. <laughs> I have... I have it at 66, though. 66. Yeah, I mean, if you're... Pennies, I, I don't, it's the same zone for the most part. <laughs> yeah. I'll send you the picture as to where, like, I drew it from. It's on the 15-minute chart. Put in, I just put it in live chat, VC mute. Cool. I don't know. Uh, um, yeah. But, I mean, while we have other people in here, if anybody has any trades that they took yesterday that they want me to go over because I'm in here, let's, let's do it. Oh, yeah, there's probably... There's other people in the feed, isn't there? Oh, yeah. A bunch of people join. I mean, free education is... Free education. Yeah. yeah can you not join? Logan, I have one question. I was just wondering, on your YouTube, I saw that you went live once to do uh, weekend markups, and I was just wondering how often you do those. I do those every weekend. Um, it's debatable if I do it this weekend, just because I might be going back to New Jersey this weekend. But I may not, so I may, I may do it. But besides that, it's every weekend. Okay, okay, good to know. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. It's a good time, man. We, we just hang out. I play some jazz music, uh, drink my coffee, yeah. and we do markups and do TA. Yeah, I like following along. It's kind of helpful. Cool. That's awesome, man. I'm glad that it's helpful. Um, but yeah, if, anybody, if nobody else has any trade reviews, we can hop back in the other chat now. Cool. 